So this is raw vlog number two, where we're gonna talk about CSI Shield, the new hit comedy on ABC. This spring, see the show that everyone's talking about. All right, so let's talk about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC. Uh, so I watched it, and uh, I must say I didn't have the highest expectations for it. Uh, after seeing kind of like the, the posters around town, I kind of had an idea of what I thought they were going to do with it, which is uh, exactly what they did with it. And, uh, you know, it, it's not the route that I might have taken with the show. I think uh, it would be cool for them to do something a lot ballsier and a lot different and, uh, you know, make it uh, take advantage of the opportunity to do something a little different on television because I feel like uh, television has gotten very formulaic in a lot of ways and this kind of felt like that same TV formula. It felt like CSI Shield. I discovered that I hate commercials even more that my disgust for commercials has grown over the years and that I can hardly watch TV because of commercials. But getting to the show, I don't really feel like this reality that's happening in the show is really very much a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe reality. Uh, it doesn't really fit together because this reality feels like the same reality as the, you know, ABC spring lineup of crime shows. That's what it feels like. And that's a shame because they could have done something a little different. You know, I felt like this could have been a really cool opportunity to, to do something transcend, you know, break the mold a little bit. The characters were really kind of weak, which is very unusual in a Joss Whedon type production because his characters always like, I don't know, man, he just really gets you to like characters like super quick. And that was not the case in this show. I felt like the main girl character and the main guy character, uh, I, I, don't, I really didn't, they're very generic for me, you know? I, I thought the girl character especially was a little ridiculous. Um, Why? Uh, oof. Why? Uh, I don't know. It's just, she just like, I'm in a van and uh, I'm wearing a $500 leather like jacket coat peplum thing with fucking like $200 boots from Macy's. And What's wrong with that? You don't live out of van if you have a Brazilian blowout. You know what I'm saying? Like it just doesn't saying she's supposed to be poor? Yeah, she's supposed to be some poor chick living out of a van, you know, down by the river or some shit. Like, oh, and she's a hacker, too, on top of it, and yet she has fucking, uh, you know, perfect highlights, and her hair is done, and her makeup looks good, and she's wearing all these, like, cute, expensive outfits. It's like, eh, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. And she's like, oh, I'm obsessed with S.H.I.E.L.D. And I, mean, I she, she's, you know, they do that a lot. They just, they cast these you know, pretty girls in these roles and it's just, you don't buy it? I don't... Her character should be played by some scuzzy little creepy dude, you know? Like, p the only people who live in their vans are weird people uh, who who choose to live in vans. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, I live in a van! <laughs> hey! Well, I mean, we all fall on hard times. I mean, it's one thing if you're falling on hard times. It's another thing if you're, like, on the run because you're afraid of some shadow organization of the government so you're mobile and you just live out of your van while you travel around the United States trying to expose a government fucking corporate plot. Like, that, uh, that pretty girl like that's not doing that. Coulson was cool. I don't know. It was good to see Coulson. I like him. I mean, everybody does. That's why he's back. Uh, and I like the idea that what really happened to him, like, did he really die? Is he some f fucking clone or something? Is he, um, um, what's his face? I can't think. I'm just so tired. I have my period right now. I just can't think of anything. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what's his face? Uh, leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. fucking eye patch. What's his fucking name? <laughs> I can't. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, Nick Fury. Whenever Nick Fury was killed, it was never actually Nick Fury. It was this fucking uh, robot. And I can't think of the name of the fucking robot, and we don't have internet access right now. But uh, is Coulson one of those, maybe? I don't know. Is Coulson a robot? Is Coulson one of those weird S.H.I.E.L.D. robots? Um, who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't seem to be very organized for being so high-tech. Uh, seeing as how, you know, this show looks like it should be interns of S.H.I.E.L.D., not agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, everyone's, like, super young and 
cute and fresh faced. One example of one thing that I don't like and I think is kind of overdone is the uh, the ending where they have that that sentimental like overly sentimental music and and all the characters reacts and reactions are shot in slow motion. Uh, and it's like I know why they're doing it because it's like paint by numbers television at this point because everyone does that like every TV show does that now. And uh, they all started doing it because Lost did it and it worked really well a couple times. So then everybody started doing it and now it's just part of the formula and everyone just has to put that in there. And it's just, I've seen it in doctor shows a lot. Uh, I've definitely seen it in like the CSI, like SVU, whatever fucking things. But it only works when you love the characters and you weren't just introduced to them like 10 minutes ago. You know, it's like, who? I don't care. like. They're not making me care about anybody so far. I care about Coulson because Coulson's Coulson, not because of the show. Also, it seemed to me like the dialogue, everyone had the same kind of, um, the same like little quirky dialogue uh, and the same kind of beats and cadences. And it just seemed like it was the voice of one writer. Like there's just, they just don't have any personal character to them. I think that a S.H.I.E.L.D. show has potential. I don't know if this one in particular has potential for me personally. I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of other people will be into it and uh, you know, my mom might really like it. There's so much stuff you could do, but they're just not gonna do any of that stuff because there's CSI shield. I'm not that disappointed. I think it could be done though, just not like this. Am I gonna watch episode two of Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? No. Yes. Am I? Yeah. Do I have to? I don't wanna. I don't know. I just have a thing with TV right now. Me and TV just really aren't doing it. Like, I, I have two and a half shows that I like. Two and a half. What's that? Game of Thrones. American Horror Story. Although I, I can, okay, I'll say three and a half. Down Abbey. I'm still watching Down. And uh, it just started back up again. And I guess whenever I can get it, which I can't get it that often, River Monsters. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that's, River, all, River Monsters, that's all I'm that interested really fits in. The mold. <laughs> I would much rather watch River Monsters than Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. any day, any time, any place. Uh, Sorry. It's because you're a DC girl. You only like DC. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm just hating on Marvel. Sorry, Marvel. I wish it was more about S.H.I.E.L.D., I guess. I think that's my main complaint. I wish it was more about S.H.I.E.L.D. It doesn't really seem to be about S.H.I.E.L.D. because these guys are level seven and they're all kind of separate from S.H.I.E.L.D., you know? Except for, like, Maria Hill, and that's it. Why isn't anybody wearing a S.H.I.E.L.D. uniform except for Maria Hill? And, gosh, there's... Ugh, some of that acting was not up to... not up to snuff. Sorry. Colson was good. <laughs> Colson was good. <laughs> That's it. Ah! 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 <laughs> like, oh, I really liked it though. You're breaking my heart. Piss me off. Unsubscribe. Agents of Shield was my favorite show. Hater. In conclusion, Marvel Agents of Shield is you know we'll see we'll see